Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we're taking a look at an asset in the asset store called Animated PBR Chess Demo, and I like to think of this as like an animated fantasy chest. Now the quality of this overall is actually very, very nice. I, I love this style of uh, design when it comes to anything like these kind of chests, because they fit really well in obviously fantasy games like uh, an RPG or something like that. And if you just look at it, it's really, really well designed. It looks really, really nice. And I can see that fitting in with a lot of different types of games, not just fantasy ones. So quantity wise, what do we get? Well, we get the chest itself. We get a particle system that we can see down there. We get the reflection probe. Uh, we get some animations. Uh, we get the standard F. BX, and we also get uh, some effects there as well in the form of a prefab, which you can see. You'll see that in just a moment when I actually play the scene. And uh, obviously materials, prefabs, textures, and we also get the timeline as well if you want to play around with that. So quantity, not really a massive amount. It is exactly what it says it is. And in a way of extras, I don't think you really get anything in the way of extras apart from something that I will show you in just a couple of seconds. How easy is this to use? It's actually very easy to use. Just drag and drop this into your scene uh, and it will do everything it needs to. Now, this is where it turns really cool. This is the animation that you can see and you can play around with this and change it however you want to. And I think that looks really, really cool. And when it comes to making it look even better, remember that if you're going to use things like post-processing, it makes it look even better than that. It makes it look really, in this case, a bit dark, dingy, but more atmospheric. So I kind of like when we can apply this kind of post-processing to this particular chest. And it looks great. It looks fantastic. You could see that fitting in quite well with perhaps some kind of Zelda clone or something along the ten lines. So how customizable is this? Unfortunately, it's not quite as customizable as I would like, um, mainly because everything is all combined into one and it's animated that way. So we can see here, if we go to the chest itself, it is all one object, but it is animated. So you could theoretically play around with some of those settings and create the perfect animation for it. Doesn't mean to say that you can't change, for example, the materials. So if you change the materials, uh, let's change it to albedo alpha and make the wood bit shinier. Uh, let's remove the smoothness and let's increase the normal map. And it just looks really weird and creepy now. So you can customize it to that extent. You know, it's entirely up to you how you do it. So how useful is this in a game? Well, I feel it can be quite useful as a decoy chest, a dummy chest. It may not be quite as useful as you would expect it to be. However, keep in mind that this is just a demo of the uh, chest itself. So it may just serve enough purpose. So yeah, it could be fairly useful depending on the circumstance. Uh, if we look at the folders, they are all neatly laid out and I absolutely love neat and tidy folders. It's key to good game development when everything is neat and tidy. So let's take a look at the size and the price of this, which you probably saw earlier. Uh, it is indeed free at the time of recording this review, so just keep that in mind. And the file size is only 13.4 meg, which is a great size for what this is. Keep in mind, though, if you're designing for perhaps mobile devices, that may be a little bit much, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, I either recommend them or I don't. And this one is kind of on the edge. I would recommend it for how good it, it looks, how good it's made and what it could do for a game. But if you're looking for something really practical, this probably won't quite hit the mark. I would still recommend this in a game to possibly play around with. Uh, you know, it's like maybe a sequence where you've done something in a level, then you go to a quick little cutscene and a chest opens and stuff pops out. It's going to be perfect for stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I would recommend it, but perhaps just keep in mind that it's not quite as versatile as some other chest assets on the asset store. So guys, if you have used this asset, let me know in the comments below. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why you don't particularly like this asset. Have you used it or anything like that? Uh, but don't forget, click that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything on game development on my channel. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know. I would love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these little videos. Until next time, thanks very much for watching, guys.